get to know your presenter. So I'm Neve Colclow. What do you want to know? Where do I have to think of it then? I am <laughs> 21, however, I'm 21 when I'm recording this. I'll prob I'm 22. I'm, I'm 22 in about <laughs> two weeks, so I'm probably 22. Cardiff. I'm from Worcester originally, Midlands gal, Birmingham gal, but I live in Cardiff now. Ooh. Hopefully a successful journalist, hopefully still here with Hot Topics. Um, Travelling the world, meeting people, helping people, telling stories. Uh, definitely journalism. I like to see it as a broad perspective. I don't really have like a specific niche area of journalism that I want to go to. I think I want to see where it takes me. As long as I'm telling stories and helping people and um, educating myself every day, that is that is my career path. One of my party talents, and I love it because it always, you know, impresses the ladies. Um, I can neck a pint in about. Five seconds. Wait, three, two, one. One, two, three. <laughs> there we go. So I'm actually like lactose intolerant. I have a quite a bad sensitive stomach to say <laughs> not to get TMI, but I have a weird obsession with yogurts and Muller Corners to be precise, and my favourite to snack on. That pint is coming back to haunt me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to give them all away because these are the kind of things you're going to know on the show. I don't know if you can tell, but I was, I like, I like to be, I like to be the centre of attention. And this was quite evident from a young age. And um, so me being me, I remember being at school once and I was outside. This actually genuinely happened. This is actually a horrific story. It actually <laughs> kind of traumatised me. And there was me trying to impress everyone again, doing a performance. I was, I was a singer, I did singing lessons and stuff. And we were outside in the playground and I was singing the Sound of Music. The hills are alive. And I remember being out there, everyone looking at me, just my luck, bird pooped directly into my mouth. And I remember holding the note and going, and realising it had happened. And all the boys and like, all the girls were on the playground. And I was like, no, this cannot happen. And I turned around and I had bird poop all over my mouth and everyone laughed at me. And to this day, I still have my friends home from Worcester and they always go, do you remember that time that happened? I'm like, yes, I do remember that time that <laughs> happened. But people say it's good luck. So I like to think that the fact that it pooed in my mouth, like, how much more lucky can you get than that, really? It's probably why I'm here today, so yeah. <laughs> I'd like to say my empathy for other people. I used to think, I used to really see it as quite a negative thing. I used to think that I had way, I was way too like emotional, but I realised as I got older, like, I'm such like a humanitarian. And it's actually a great quality about myself. Like I really care about other people and I've learned to love that I think the most about myself. So yeah, I'd say my my empathetic soul. Well you probably ask my girl if I'm not. Um oh, I, This is probably my most annoying habit. I that's I mean I the fact that I I like to think that I'm like good at everything. But no. Sometimes I can't back down. I like to think that I'm always right and I'm learning to realise that I'm actually not. Not biting my toe, always having to have the last word and probably having to give a PowerPoint presentation description for like everything that I say. Okay. But yeah. Bye! <laughs>